Now that we've got our Cloudberry Explorer installed, downloaded, installed, had a quick little tour of what's going on, let's go ahead and integrate your Amazon S3 account into your Cloudberry Explorer. That way you can kind of use it. So what we want to do now is, as I had mentioned in the prior video, this is the one of my Amazon S3 accounts. Let's go ahead and come on up here to File, check out our Amazon S3 accounts here, and let's go ahead and delete this guy. Of course, you can always edit it as well, but for the sake of this video, we're going to send it bye-bye. And now it's gone. Now we need to create a new account. So we just simply click on this, and it brings up the info. After we click on Add, it brings up the information we need to create that new account. Now you can name this anything you want. Now if you've got several different niches or Amazon S3 accounts, then you can name this accordingly. Say for example, you've got a membership site on gardening, or you've got a, uh, a blog you're wanting to add content, videos, images, whatever on car racing then name this accordingly that way you're not getting all screwed up and, and adding things to one file or one account when you meant it to be added to another account so in this case we're going to name this one as kind of I did earlier uh, gardening for profits how's that yeah that'll work now then you need these two things here access key and secret key you get these items from Amazon S3 the folks that you created your Amazon S3 account with and if you have not done so yet then you ought to do so that's kind of the only reason you would have Cloudberry Explorer anyway so look at these if you're not familiar with what this stuff is look at this like it's a username and password and like that you would not want to just publish this on your Twitter account so everybody in the world would see it you want to keep this stuff secret keep it under lock and key ideally if you've got like a RoboForm account perfect open up a safe notes on one of your accounts ideally one that you would have related to Amazon and that way you can keep this information on your RoboForm account under Amazon in the safe notes section so that way it's tightly locked up and if you need to refer back to it then you've got it easily accessible to under your RoboForm account again that or you stick it on a text document put it in a full folder on your computer and name it some arbitrary name so that nobody would be poking around in there if anybody else has access to your computer throughout the day maybe a work computer or at home where the kids are playing around or whatever so anyway let's go back to Amazon S3 and get this access key and secret key we'll show you what that is and we are at aws.amazon.com forward slash s3 forward slash and of course you want to log in and then oh and by the way over here on the left hand side these are several services that AWS or Amazon Web Services has available we're only talking about the Amazon S3 right now but a lot of these are pretty cool and a lot of these will work hand in hand with the S3 account that you've created so let's head on over here to your account and come on down here to access identifiers and depending upon which one of those services you're uh, interested in let's say for example it's not S3 at this time would depend on which one of these identifiers you're going to be in need of for S3 we only need this guy here and here we have the access key ID here and your secret access key here again look at it like it's username password and you want to keep these things tightly locked away somewhere and what you do is you just simply copy this to a text document for quick transpo over to our Cloudberry setup and you click on this show link here and that would access this it looks like a big old long line of gibberish just a bunch of letters numbers characters that if for some reason or another somebody gains access to your Amazon S3 account you can change that or minimize or eliminate access by simply changing your secret access key here click on generate then you just simply take the newly generated at secret access key and replace the old problematic secret access key with the new one and that way kind of like generating a new password for your account and let's go ahead and if you've got this stuff copied you head on back over to your Cloudberry software and you simply paste it in the appropriate box now make sure that you do not have any blank spaces on either side of your access identifiers otherwise it just will not work for you once you have those all pasted properly click on this box here use SSL and click on OK and all is right with the world you have your new account installed in Cloudberry Explorer and again you can just repeat this process for as many different accounts as you want because you can have as many accounts as you want with Amazon S3 I do not believe there's a limit 
And if we click up here, the drop down arrow, there is our newly created account waiting for us to toss in some buckets or some containers or some folders or directories or whatever you want to call them. Everybody else calls them buckets, but whatever is easiest for you. And that, folks, is how you set up your account with Amazon S3 and Cloudberry Explorer. Thank you very much for watching.